This week on Fetch Me a Home, we have Katie with Greater Andrew Scoggin Humane Society, and you brought us Alpine. Alpine. Isn't oh, right on cue, sir. <laughs> Isn't he handsome? <laughs> He's very cute. Uh, Alpine is right between a year and a half, two years old, and we think he's probably kind of Great Pyrenees, Malamute, Husky type breed mix. Uh, definitely a working breed dog. So gonna need a home with a lot of energy, a lot of exercise opportunities, kind of a job to do or activities to keep him busy or else he's going to try to find his own fun, which uh, you may or may not like. Yes, <laughs> yes. So he's got sort of the herding gathering built in. The herding gathering, yes. And because of that, we're also recommending a home without kitties. A little too interested in the cats because they're not um, animals that he grew up with. Uh, he did come from a um, uh, uh, animal control facility down in Texas came up to us that way. Uh, so we have a bit of history from his foster home uh, and definitely seemed to show a bit too much interest in the cats, uh, but really likes a lot of other dogs and loves people. I was gonna say, in foster home, he was with other dogs mm -hmm. and coexisted well. Oh. There we go. You know, you show them. If you were closer, we'd pet you. <laughs> he Hi. definitely is a bit of a ham. <laughs> so he's very loving, mm -hmm. as you can see, and loves love. But as you said, he's got some energy. So definitely, probably more of a home rather than an apartment. Yes. And mm -hmm. Something with space, maybe. Something with space, you know, active lifestyle, getting out hiking, getting out running, jogging, being able to really burn off that energy. And again, some sort of a, a job to do or, or activities to keep him busy. And also probably not real young children, just because of his size. Right. You know, he's so big, sometimes he doesn't know his own strength, can, you know, easily knock down a little kiddo. You wouldn't do it on purpose. We no. know that. We know that. <laughs> he said, I'd get so excited. I just wouldn't know. And I saw you guys walk him in. He's very, very good on a leash. He's definitely, yeah. People would, you know, want to keep up with his training. He's so smart. He's going to be able to learn so much. Food driven, so easy to train. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with his yep. favorite treats. He definitely likes his hot dogs. <laughs> and he, see, look how smart he is. He, he, follow, is, he, he knows is. his camera mm -hmm. angles. Yep. And he does know basic commands like sit and lie down and paw He'll and give all paw. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. And, okay, so you guys have a couple of events coming up aside from we adopting do. him. <laughs> what do you guys have going on this month? Yes, apart from the excitement of the dog, um, we do have on April 14th, it's a Sunday, our Paws for Pets craft fair. I know, what's going on? He, he says, got like, in your face, I, I can't know. wait. I know. He can't wait for the craft fair on April 14th. It's at the Lewiston Armory. Uh, and that's something that's a lot of fun. And then on the 28th of April, another Sunday is our Dash for Dogs. So that's our 5K walk and run, all about raising funds to help us care for dogs. Okay, if you are interested in Alpine, what do you need to know? Yeah, you wanna go on our website. It's uh, savingpetsinmaine.org. All of our available dogs are on there. Uh, we're doing a promotion right now for spring. So check that out and just see Alpine. You can read more about him. You can read about all of our dogs and as well as our cats, and we have a ton of rabbits as well right now. All right, Katie, thank you so much for bringing Alpine in. And again, Greater Andrew Scoggin Humane Society, and you guys open up at 11 o'clock this 11 morning. 11 o'clock, yes, and uh, we will be there bright and early, getting everything cleaned and ready for a busy adoption day. <laughs> Your weekend morning report returns in a moment.